The documents filed with the Spanish court state Rifat al-Assad began a systematic campaign of enrichment by irregular means, lasting until around 1984 when he was exiled following a coup d'etat. The documents claim he was paid hundreds, if not thousands of millions of dollars gained from illicit sources. According to the prosecutor, members of al-Assad's family were also involved in these corporate structures to give them the appearance of normality. These were in operation between 1986 and 2016, including, at some point, numerous Gibraltar-registered companies. During this period, the former high-ranking Syrian official began to acquire vast amounts of assets in France and Spain, which today is said to be worth 700 million euros. This, according to papers filed, was despite lacking any known assets or income to justify the acquisitions at the time. Between 1999 and 2000, al-Assad purchased property in Gibraltar. Then in 2018, the Supreme Court gave the green light to the trustees of the Europort Trust to sell that property here at 6 to 9 Europort on his behalf. At the time, having had his assets frozen following allegations of corruption, tax evasion and money laundering, Chief Justice Anthony Dudley said he was satisfied the trustees could reasonably believe the proceeds used to buy the Europort buildings had come from gifts from the King of Saudi Arabia to Mr Assad and not from the proceeds of criminal conduct. In its report, Europa Press claims the paper has seen the prosecutor's indictment, which it says is seeking an eight-year prison sentence for al-Assad and six years for others involved in the offences. It's also requesting a fine of 2.7 million euros to be imposed and the requisition of all movable and immovable property, as well as shares in all the companies.